All right, we are plugged in now and charging. You see we have 126 kilowatt. Yeah, wow, the speed goes up. 126. Temperature in the pack. This one, oh, sorry. Cell, oops. Cell temperature is 28.8. Stator temperature is 42. Oh, look at that. That's what I heard about. The stator goes up like crazy now. So it uses the stator to heat up the battery. And you can see that the battery, here, look here. Suddenly, battery inlet, uh, which is the, the coolant going into the battery. Wow, goes up like crazy. You can have it like this, so you can see all the numbers here. So you see that the car now, supposedly it uses the, the stator to, basically to, simply said, move the, try to move the motor back and forth, back and forth. That creates heat, lots of heat. And then the coolant here transport that heat away from the stator into the battery. So now the battery should heat up and it's charging at fairly high speed. Wow, so it's actually using some of that. That's, so the car is using some of that energy that we get now to, um, to heat up the battery. Huh. Wow, I've never seen this before. Look, all oh, that the rear stator, the front also. The front and the rear, they help heating up the, the coolant. So right now, you see the battery inlet. Wow, when I was driving, the inlet was about 0.5 degrees Celsius higher than the temperature of the, cell, the pack. But you see now, it's three, three and a half degrees higher. So it's trying to rapidly heat up the battery so you can take more power. Uh, so we're already getting 177 kilowatts, uh, but seems like the battery wants to go to about 35 degrees Celsius. We'll see what happens. All right, we are now at uh, 31%, and you see we're getting the maximum power, 192 kilowatts. But look at that temperature. So uh, now the, the battery inlet is at 46 degrees, and the, t the battery is over 40 degrees Celsius. Wow, I hope this is not uh, unhealthy to stay at these high temperatures. <sighs> wow, 44. I mean, in a leaf, if you have 44 degrees Celsius, then you seriously rapid gate. So I hope Tesla is no, the, I hope Tesla know what they're doing when they do this to allow really high speed. All right. I think you guys can hear slight humming maybe. The cooling just started and now you see that the inlet is lower than the battery temperature. So now it's actively cooling down the, the cells. Let me see, 49.5. Yeah, so the in the inlet is lower than, well, it's still rising a little bit. And then it start, also start tapering, but we are at 42% now. Okay, interesting. Uh, on this tab, we see that the cell imbalance is at 26 millivolt right now. Uh, when I started testing, it was at 10 millivolts. So right now the, ba the cells are a little bit thrown off, but uh, the car will take care of that and balance it later. So it doesn't matter right now. But see the temperature is dropping. It was 53. You can switch again. Oh, I prefer this one because it's larger. So it was, well actually no, right now cell mid. Yeah, so it's still 54 degrees. And the stator temperatures are kind of stuck now. Once it cools down, then it doesn't update. So the stators are not at 55 anymore. And the car is actively cooling down the battery. See, 45 degrees inlet. It's keeping it. Yeah, it's, it seems like it, it's still keeping it uh, like this, you know. The, the car is capable of cooling down the battery way faster than this. So it's not a limitation that it doesn't cool it. It's just... Tesla probably figured out that they want the battery to be at over 50 degrees Celsius when we are fast charging right now. And another uh, interesting number here is the, the battery flow. It's usually around 6 LPM, liter per minute. But you see that the battery flow, we forgot to check the, the powertrain flow earlier when the stator was heating up. But you see now the stator, I mean that, that powertrain loop has been resting now, whereas the battery flow is going high so the, the fluent is flowing at the high rate around there to cool down the battery hmm 
All right, we finished charging. I went to 90%. Now let's see what happens. If I put the car in drive, well, it's just I'm not gonna drive anywhere. Just put the car in drive. What I heard, oops, sorry, is that uh, the battery should cool down. It's at 51 degrees Celsius. Oh, there you go. Let me see, battery inlet, 45 degrees. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. Wow. So now the battery inlet is dropping like a rock and then the car figures out that it wants to cool down the battery because it's it's finished the charging session so then we don't need that uh, hot battery anymore maybe i should just start driving and see what happens but i just want to see now uh, cell temperature should be dropping and battery inlet is dropping and the airflow this one this number here is well not the not airflow it's the is the, the flow of liquid in the battery loop 10.6 something so i saw it was 24 when it was at the highest one when we charged hmm, so is it cooling down it seems to be cooling down okay maybe we should just start driving yeah let's do that we are now at the Klofta. you see been driving for 16 minutes and uh, the temperature went from 50 about 50 something to 40. So the car cooled down 10 degrees in 15 minutes roughly. And now we just stay, it's still dropping. Yeah, you see that this one is still lower than that one. So uh, the inlet is still colder. All right, but uh, I will do some uh, acceleration test here. There's a nice uh, uh, nice uh, feature here where you can, uh, it, it, this one basically becomes a, a V-box. <laughs> so you just, you just hammer it and then it records all the time. But there was a little bit of downhill, so that's why I got a very good zero to 100 times. So I'm gonna do this. Of course, I'm not filming it, uh, just for fun. All right, now we are near our, our home, and uh, you see now that uh, the battery pack is at 36 degrees Celsius, and you see the ma battery inlet is at 34. So it's still trying to cool down the battery, but it seems like it doesn't go crazy now. Uh, so well, actually when you're driving, it will stay around 35 something. It was just that initial drive we had them when, then we drove at, uh, let me switch off the light by the way. Then we drove, uh, we had 27. So after the first supercharging session or whatever, if you're going a long trip, the battery will be staying at 35-ish, seems like it. And I guess it's, Tesla know what they're doing, so it's probably not uh, going to hurt the battery staying at these temperatures. But what I want to test now is what happens when you turn on uh, track mode. So let's turn on track mode. Let me see where was it even driving track mode. Okay, track mode on. Immediately I hear something, some cooling going on. Oh, look here, battery flow, powertrain flow goes up. Wow. And what else? It's supposed to cool down the battery and the powertrain. Inverter is... I didn't pay attention to what's going on here. Cell temperature. So the battery should be cooling down. Battery in... Whoa! Look at that! Holy crap! Battery inlet, 27 degrees. The car is really serious about um, dropping the temperature in the battery now. And the, the, the flow here is much higher than before. Whoa! Let me see, what about powertrain inlet? 30 degrees Celsius, not too much stuff going on there. Uh, below here you see some braking, that's just the temperature, the estimated temperature in the brake, so I don't show you that one. But uh, the, the flow to the powertrain is going up. Huh. So, stator, 33, stator temp. Maybe the stators are also cooling. Battery inlet, wow, 25 degrees. So it, so interesting, track mode will pre-cool the battery so you can go faster, longer. And I guess it will have higher, as long as you're in track mode, the, the flow rate will be higher. And of course the consumption will be higher, but you will have better performance and you will not get any wear on the on the performance after many launches and whatever you want to do. So interesting, let me see what's going on there, 24, yeah, it's still going, it's still dropping. Okay, let's just, uh, we can just make it a time lapse now and see what happens.
All right, so uh, according to some people on the live stream, they say that the battery min temp here is the desired temperature. So the, the car wants, the BMS wants, wants to cool down to 28.5. It was 28 earlier. I don't know why it changed, but you see, so the car is trying to cool down the battery to that temperature. But I want to show something else. If you go to this one performance, you see we're pulling, pulling about two kilowatt, right? I'm going to switch off HVAC now. Okay, HVAC is off and it's still pulling 300 watts. It's probably for the uh, for the charging of the phones and uh, well actually the phone is not charging anymore. Oops. Uh, the phone is not charging anymore but um, and also the screen. So I'm going to switch off track mode and see what happens. There, switch off track mode. Huh? Almost nothing happened there. What about temp here? You see the flow rate de uh, decreased a lot. Uh, well, actually, we haven't paid attention to that one. Uh, so it's still cooling down the battery, I guess, even with track mode off. Hey, what the heck? Why cannot I, I cannot re re enable track mode now? It's grayed out. Why not? Oh, there. I had to push the brake. Okay, let's see what happens when we enable track mode again. There, track mode is on. Oh, look at that, flow rate goes through the roof. <laughs> ah, this is fascinating. Okay, so that one goes through the roof and then it will try to cool down the battery. Okay, I think we're done with the test so far.